This, is, this dumpling is from Jamaica, Queens. This is not from Jamaica. If you have high blood pressure, they food is not for you. Wagwan, everybody. It's a Kaylin head. Hey, y'all. It's your girl, Eva Evans. Hi, I'm Savanya, and today we're trying each other's I, I can't selfish. I can't selfish is Jamaica's national dish, okay? If you've never had it before, you're really missing out. You bring it to family barbecues, church, birthday parties. It's made with the fruit. You have to clean it carefully because it can be poisonous if you don't clean it correctly. Also, codfish. The green banana. Yam, cassava. And you have boiled dumpling. You just gotta have the dumpling. It's just something about cutting off a piece of dumpling with your I can selfish. It's the perfect match. Can you have it without that? No, you cannot have Atkins Saltfish without scotch bonnet pepper. You mind? I refuse to cook without scotch bonnet. I come from generations of good cooks. So my ancestors whispered in my ears, and this is what happened. Boom, so this is my Atkins Saltfish with the plantain. I like when my plantains are very, very ripe. The pier, what we call a pier in Jamaica here is called avocado and boiled dumpling. My boiled dumplings, I put caramel in the flour to make it a little bit more heftier. It's a trick that I learned, you know, growing up in the country in St. Anne. You know, you want the food to last you all day. You eat in the morning and you don't want to be hungry until it's time for dinner. This plate looks really, really fun. I need a second. Let me, let me. <laughs> Let me loosen the hair up. I feel like a real Yachty made this one right here. So I will say one thing. I don't think I ever seen an avocado on a Aki and Sawfish plate. I like that there's some gravy in there. If you look, you hear that. Oh yeah, you get a lot of gravy from this right here. Woo, this is high blood pressure right here, wow. I honestly love all the different flavors on this plate. It's salt, man, it's salt. Salt. It's a little bit salty, but it's really good. Oof, it's, it's got me gassy too, man. Do you want some water? I would love some water, actually. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I like the fact that there is pear on the side. This kind of calms down the salts of like the ackee and saltfish. Let me try this one more time. Unfortunately, it's very salt. And the salt is overpowering everything else. The spice is beautiful, the texture is beautiful, but the salt is killing the food for me. This, I'm gonna have to give it a five. I give this a nine. I made ackee and saltfish with provisions. I put onions in there, green pepper, scotch bonnet pepper, garlic, there's some scallion. With the sides, I have some yam in there, some dumpling, and also some cassava. My mother teaches me how to cook everything. I would just watch her in the kitchen and observe and take notes. I will win today because my parents raised me for success. So the plate speaks for itself. Just off the visuals, I don't really see the fish. This is the Weight Watchers portion. It's very small. It don't smell like fish. It smells kind of like ketchup. Some people put ketchup in, in the Caribbean foods. Oh yeah. But I'm so sorry. The dumpling is offensive. I'm just gonna put that right over there. I just, I just want it as far away from me as possible. Nah, it's good. It definitely has a nice spice to it. The spice is actually really good. Let me, let me, let me, let me just go to the Aki. Let me see what's going on with the Aki. Okay. Whew, okay. I'm gonna be real honest. Whoever made this food right here, they had a blessed hand. Well seasoned, for sure. My only gripe with this whole meal, because it's actually delicious, the dumpling have a little weird taste to it. No, this dumpling is from Jamaica Queens. This is this is Jamaica Queens. This is the E train right here. I'm not doing that. I feel like this was just boiled in water. They didn't put no salt on the dumpling. Dumpling fresh, you're fine. On a scale of one to ten, I would rate this ackee and saltfish dish a solid eight for how much I ate. The entire plate, I would give it six. My dish is the best because it comes from tradition. Before Mimet today's meal, I had to consult 
my grandfather, who live in Jamaica, and the best chef in my family, my very own father. I woke up early this morning, I boiled the saltfish, I knead up the dumpling deck, I boil out the banana. It is fresh and it is gonna destroy everybody's taste buds. And of course, I had to bring the Grace Jamaican hot sauce. Ooh. This is so cute, it makes a smiley face. Between the, the banana and the yam and the dumpling, you're gonna need some water, for sure. I'm really excited to see the green banana. All right, the banana just gave me a flashback to my ex-boyfriend. I got distracted. Mm. This smells really good. I'm not a big fan of yam, but I know it's healthy, so I'll push through. Mmm. All right, now I'm nervous, hold up. It's pretty good. Dumpling is nice and, and gummy. I like gummy dumpling, that's good. The texture of the dumpling is just right, it's firm. But now I could have cooked a little more, but I like this. It has more of like, an Aitol taste to it. Aitol food in Jamaica is like Rasta, Barian inspired. I feel like it's usually a little bit fresher. Hint of coconut and aki, pleasant surprise. Whoever made this, I feel like there's a lot of country influence, like St. Mary, St. Anne. I don't, I, I would be so surprised if they're from Kingston, Spanish Tone, or Portmore. Any of those, they're not from any of those places. This is a country cooking right here. No, I can't even hate. If I would change anything about the dish, I'd probably just add some more Pepper. I do want some pepper on it, but I'm not gonna add the hot sauce because I like, like natural pepper. The pepper sauce definitely helps. I would give it a an eight. I'm not gonna hate. I will rate this dish a 7.8. Overall, it's really good and very traditional. Hey guys, Wagwan, you don't know it's your girl Spice, and I'm here to taste some Aki and Selfish. Let me tell you something, I'm a big cook. I've always been the best cook in the house. Everybody in my family, I taught them how to cook, even my mom. <laughs> well, that's not true, but you know. I don't know if I have a favorite dish of all time, because I love my belly, so I love all of food, all kind of different things, and I like to eat a lot of different, out a lot of different plates. I feel like if I should have like a one time, all time favorite Jamaican, Muda definitely go with our national dish. So let's be very clear. I'm here to taste what's going on with these plates, okay? Let's go. Ooh, okay. That one that looked dry. But no, it looked like they made that dumpling now with a spoon. It no need. I guess it's that a person that never really grow with them granny. I'm not even kidding. Look at it. It's like. Not cute. So I'm gonna start off with my yam, and I'm gonna mix it with a little aki. All right, let's go. Mmm. The aki tastes good. It's a Jamaican can cook the aki. Mega try the ugly dumpling. Dumpling just ugly. Mmm. Not bad. I like this one. I'm not gonna lie, the food tastes good. The food tastes good. The food tastes good. Mmm. I needed more gravy. Everything was just very dry. But the flavor of the Akia saltfish tastes good. It cook good. It nice, it can't eat. Because of the flavor, I want to give it a 10. But I can't. I feel like the Akia saltfish was too dry for me. And the dumpling did too ugly. But because it tastes so good, the, it, it cook good, it nice. I'm going to give it a 9. <sighs> All right, presentation nice. I'm like this. This one have a little gravy around somewhere, so you feel like you can scoop it up. I like that. I also was asking for bell peppers and to see some onions and stuff. I can see some seasoning in this one. So if you look, the presentation is a little bit better. And let's look at this dumpling. It's a little bit neater. Let's try it. <laughs> Maybe there's a plantain too. Flat and soft though. Mm -mm. Overripe. I feel like there's a young girl cook this. For presentation, I could give it like a five. Ooh, okay, another good presentation. Sometimes you get food and you feel like it want, you, you want to eat it. This one more want to eat it. So let me try. I feel like. This is well boiled too. I like the mashed potato. It's not too soft, too mushy. Mm -hmm. The presentation was good. The aki tastes good. It just not tastes better than the first one. So I'd give this one a seven.
Now this is not an excuse, but uh, I was a little hungover when I made this. I woke up this morning with the winning smile on my face. If there's a round two, I feel like I can prove myself. I came here to show the people that the belly fullness you get from a real traditional Sunday morning, 6 a.m. Aki and Selfish dish, not too much oil, not too much blood pressure, not too much salt. You know, the, the healthy thing there will always win every time. Oh,